Hi, this is David. In the video that follows, uh, I'm going to uh, lift and store the topper or cap on a, on a 2004 Nissan Sentra, a Nissan Titan. Now, what's different about this uh, lift is that the bottom of this type of cap actually has a ridge around the outside. It isn't flat. So we had to do a couple of little different things here in order to uh, get this up off the uh, truck bed. Um, I have another video that I made a couple of years ago of, of a more a simpler straight lift where the bottom of the cap is straight. Um, but many of the techniques and materials are very similar. Now what you're going to be needing, a couple of boards. Uh, we're using 2x4s here, uh, three, feet, 3 inches longer on each side than the bed of the truck or the cap of the truck. Um, four cam buckle straps, uh, a couple of ratcheting straps. These need to be, they're best if they're like 16 feet long. And then hanging from the garage ceiling. Uh, you're going to need to put some lag eyelet, eyelet leg screws in there, and I use 38 3 inch screws. I also have a website uh, that goes into more detail and step by step, and, and if you're looking for parts, might give you a better idea of exactly what you need to do this job. So uh, thanks in advance for watching, and I hope you enjoy it and get something out of it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is back this truck up, get it centered uh, to the joists, one there and one here where our boards are going to go. Okay, hold it there. Yeah, that should be perfect. So we're going to hang it right here on that joist. And then we'll hang the back one on this one. What we're doing here, we made a little fixture to help lift the end of the uh, calf up to get our board under. This is like an optional thing that can make it a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around that way. And I put a T on it to eliminate too much stress at any one point. And we'll just pull it forward. You see the back tip now. Because these can be pretty heavy for one person to lift on the end. So this can get it into position for you where you can slip your board underneath there. Now this truck has a lip on the uh, topper here that actually sits over the side of the truck. So we have a little extra challenge. And what we've done is cut some blocks that, will, that the bed will be a uh, fiberglass part of it will actually rest on. And we're going to position those now. And we want to make sure we leave a little bit of wiggle room because we're going to have to slide this board all the way forward, this support. So when you get the board in here, you want to center it. I'm shooting for like three inches on each end. It's uh, overhanging the cap. There it is. So now we'll just mark it now that we have the block where we want it. And we'll uh, screw it onto there and then make a duplicate. We've attached both our blocks to both our boards here. Now what we're going to do is uh, take down our, our um, center support, our helper here, and slide this, this board that's going to wind up toward the cab and into place. So what we're doing now, we're just going to lift up a little bit on the corner and slide this board. The lip here is causing us a little, to do a little extra work. Okay, now it's balancing out here. So we'll just move it, continue to move it. Just lifting it. It doesn't take a whole lot to lift it. You do it near the 2x4. Okay, so we had to add a spacer in here because this particular topper is tapered. It's actually lower, uh, it, it was resting on the uh, ridge on the front, so we added half an inch there on both sides so that it's resting on the, 
on the, on the fiberglass ra rail on it. So here's our positioning. Again, we've got it underneath the joist. Each one of the boards under one of the joists. It's centered on there. So now we're ready to attach some fasteners up there. Okay, when you've got everything squared up, the truck where it's positioned where you can have these 2x4s kind of evenly spaced or the same distance from the front back, and get a plumb bob to mark the position where you're going to have to put your lag screws. What I want is just have it touching the side of the topper a little bit as it hangs there for the inside position. Then just mark the center of it. We'll drill there. And then on the outside, you want it hanging, the other one to be pretty much over the end. And mark that for your second leg screw. And just repeat that in all four corners. Okay, here's a lag screw we're using. It's a 3 8 inch, four and a half inches long. Okay, so we're going to drill these for our leg screws. Face it this way, kind of perpendicular to the joist. So the first hanger we're going to put up is a cam buckle, and this is what I'm using right here, smart straps. We need four of these, and they come in two pieces. You've got one end with a hook, just an open, an open end, and then the other end has a actual buckle on it, cam buckle. Okay, so we're running this through the inside eye bolt, and it's going to go around like this. Okay, and we get it to around the bottom. Now the beauty of this type of strap is you can pull down on it at the same time as you and if you, as you lift up on it, pull down on the strap and the buckle, and it'll lift it up and it'll hold it there. Repeat on all four, and it'll be suspended. These are the ratcheting straps that we're going to use around the outside to the outside hooks. These are 16 feet long. You want to make sure they're long enough. If you get the standard 10 footers, you may come up short. So we got some 16 footers to put up there. Okay. Okay. Now we're just going to wrap it up. We've got it hooked up on both sides. So you wind it up. As you get close, you want to make sure it's centered on the foot. Okay. Okay, how are we looking over there? Once it's once it's up there all the way, you just want to get it to where they're all equally taut. And maybe one of them pull it up more than the the rest. Okay, it's fully suspended and fully supported now. So we added the ratcheting style underside of the support board. Now you can adjust the height wherever you want, fully adjustable right up to the ceiling if you need to. If you need to store something underneath here, you're just going to have to take it up, you know, a corner at a time, step by step to get it up if, it's, if it needs to go up very far. And just kind of make sure it's level too as you do that. Okay, so we're going to take this out now.
it is. And we are free of the topper. Free of the truck, I should say. See the underside view. And when you take this off and when you put it back on, pretty much reverse everything you saw as far as taking it uh, uh, taking it off. Thanks for watching this video.